Indoor masks are now mandatory in Boston. WBZ's Christina Rex with day one of the new rules. Anyone need a mask? They're required inside. The Eagles are in town. A massive concert happening inside the TD Garden on the first day of Boston's renewed indoor mask mandate. It's difficult because I got a little bit of asthma, so it's like kind of a little bit hard to breathe, but you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Masks are required in all indoor public places now, regardless of vaccination status. This crowd is excited to be back in the arena, and some are finding ways to keep the required mask at their chin. I don't mind, I, I like it, but you know how that goes. I'm gonna buy a bag of popcorn and I'm eating the whole show, right? Speaking of eating, a walk down the street to Boston's busy North End on the weekend of the Feast of St. Anthony, you'd hardly know the rules had changed, other than some wait staff masked up. With restaurants and crowds that overflow into the streets, a mandate here could be hard to enforce. All right, squad, hello, hello, hello. But other types of businesses say this mandate is a huge hit, like the handlebar spin studios across the city, where all riders have to wear a mask while exercising. It's been a tremendously difficult year for our industry and our business, and this news is, is crushing at a time when we were really uh, waiting for the students to come back, waiting for people to go back to the office. Kind of, this was going to be our moment to sort of start to catch our heads above water. And this indoor mask mandate isn't just in Boston. Other cities are enacting them too. Both Newton and Cambridge announced new indoor mask mandates. Those will start next week. Along the Charles, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina.